So let me just take a quick opportunity because as you're watching those live uh, visuals on your screens, uh, joining us uh, uh, on the broadcast is uh, Himanshu Gulati. Uh, Himanshu is a member of parliament in Norway. Uh, Mr. Gulati, I appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us. So what do you make about uh, this uh, Pran Pratishta ceremony, sir, and, and observing it and for the people attending it? Himanshu ji, if you can hear us. I have to say it's a matter of great honor to be invited and I'm very thankful because this is indeed a historic moment and a celebration for the entire world, not just India. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm assuming you have roots in India, sir, but what about your uh, country in Norway? Uh, what is the understanding necessarily about India, about the Ram Mandir uh, and the celebrations in Norway, sir? Well, the fact that we from abroad are here as well, hopefully will increase that awareness because this is an example for the whole world, how a disputed issue can be solved uh, peacefully and democratically. So the reason many of us have come from abroad is to increase that awareness. So this does become a celebration for the entire world. Okay. Uh, Imanchuji, do you feel that there is some global excitement about visiting Ayodhya or, you know, in the standing that an enjoyed by a Makkah or by a by a Vatican in you know and the St. Peter's Basilica, uh, or is it that that's going to take time? I definitely think that Ayodhya will be one of the main tourism hubs in India. But uh, to be honest, I think currently the awareness is mostly among the uh, Indian origin community, the Hindu community, and that we have to do a, a big work to make sure that also the the average person living in the West or other parts of the world get to know the importance and significance of the Naran Mandir in Ayodhya. Okay, I don't think it's being lost on our, on our viewers that uh, we, uh, we both uh, share a surname, uh, but there's some uh, root there that tells us, uh, despite wherever we are in the world, uh, no, no direct relation here. Uh, Imanchuji, you just mentioned this about solving a problem and moving on. Uh, given the time that the world has many problems to solve, what is an example that is being served here in Ayodhya? It should be. And I'm very uh, privileged to represent the country of Norway, the country that also hands out the Nobel Peace Prize. Therefore, it gives me extra uh, meaning to, to come uh, because I want to spread uh, the word to the world that Ayodhya is an example of how a dispute can be solved peacefully. And in a world that is uh, you know, filled with conflict, violence, whether it's in Ukraine uh, or, or in, in the Middle East, we need more such examples as Ayodhya is presenting itself. Okay, Himanshu ji, quickly before I let, I'll let you go, what, what and what is your perception of, of, of India uh, under Narendra Modi, under, under the present regime? Uh, well, I think that uh, Prime Minister Modi has really asserted India's role as a, a global leader, uh, both his uh, style and... Uh, and uh, uh, Policies they make India one of the most uh, preferred uh, trading partners in the world. And uh, I think a lot of Western leaders are jealous when they see the uh, response and warmth and welcome that uh, Prime Minister Modi receives, whether it's filling stadiums in the US, Australia, Madison Square Garden. Uh, that's usually not the sort of uh, response we as polit uh, politicians in the West are used to when we travel around. Okay, we are a few hours away from the ceremony. Uh, Himanshu ji, all the very best. Uh, enjoy the day today. It's going to be a bit of a chilly morning, uh, but uh, there's going to be a lot of energy in the air uh, for, uh, for sure. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.